Um, I got involved about four years ago when I was having a coffee with my friend Jenny, who skates for Sheffield under the name of Major Steel. And she just um, yeah. told me about this new hobby she got involved with. And so, out of curiosity, I went along for a photo shoot. Went to do a load of shots. Um, at the time, they were just skating around a, a sports hall. They'd not done any bouts, or it was, wasn't that it's all that organised. He emailed me and I sort of said, "Come to a session, see what you think, take a few photos." Um, and I remember when he turned up, there's only five of us there, and I was a bit like, "Oh, he's going to think this is rubbish." And then that night, he sent me the pictures, and they were really, really good. So, sort of from there, we met up and talked about doing a team photo, and it just all sort of went off from there. But what interests me is like what everybody brings to it. So even for smaller teams, they're, they're subtleties that you know work really nice, and you know it's nice to capture and document that. Um, I got to know Jason through the magazine. Um, he submitted his photography, and he soon became a real regular for submitting photographs for the magazine. Um, and then also from. Um, being with the London Rock and Rollers, he's come and um, shot a few of our games. I mean, so. The exhibition came out, partly a lot of people going, you've got so many shots, why don't you do something with them? Um, but also partly, um, you know, I like to see stuff in print, you know, and I like to see stuff printed large, you know. It's, it's something different to see things on, 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 a, on a, a screen than in a physical you know, in physical form. A good while ago, Jason was talking about the fact that he had thousands and thousands of images and not much to do with them. And myself and Gogo turned around and went, well, why don't you do an exhibition? You know, SSRG would really like to see it, the Derby community would really like to see it. And then as part of that, it was, Jason said, I really hate the galleries, you know, that can be a bit boring, a bit stuffy. Like that. I'd love to show that it can be busy and bustling and get some roller derby feel into it. So over a large bottle of wine, um, we wrote down lots of ideas of what you could do on a day, and that became this. It's been really good, actually. Uh, I really do like Jason's pictures. I think anybody who's actually uh, tried to sit about and take a photo uh, will appreciate it, of how good Jason's photographs are. Uh, excellent. I mean, we've known Jason a while. He's been photographing these roller dolls since I think they started, more or less, because I don't think it Sheffield was even around then. Um, uh, so we're here as moral support to see our friend and see all our other friends on the wall. It's really good, and also the sort of side events and things like that, doing the hot pan making, the little talks about uh, fitness, nutrition, and also about the. Um, the running of the leagues has been really informative. I really enjoyed it. Like, um, I think it's it's amazing that he's been able to do this and like showcase his work in such a like a big scale. Because normally when you see photos, it's just on screen. But yeah, he's always kind of felt like part of the team. He's just always been like one of us, and he does so much for us. So it's really great that he's got this exhibition and we can come along and support him today.